In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to cast a YouTube video from your phone or tablet to your TV with Chromecast. If you have any kind of a smart TV or a streaming device or even a Chromecast with a remote, there's a good chance you could just use the remote to open the YouTube app directly on that TV or on that device. But if you don't want to do that or you don't have one of those, there is another option where you can simply cast YouTube from your phone or tablet to a Chromecast. To do this, you will need some kind of Chromecast. This could be a regular TV like this with any kind of Chromecast device plugged into it, or it could be a TV with Chromecast built in. And you will also need your phone or tablet to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the Chromecast or TV. But Assuming that's all set up and ready, you should be good to go. To get started, you'll need to open the YouTube app on your phone or tablet. This will not work from the mobile version of the YouTube website, so you will need to be in the app. And then, assuming your Chromecast is all set up correctly and you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you should see a little Chromecast icon appear in the top right-hand corner of the app. That's what the Chromecast icon looks like there. You should see that icon. And you need to tap on that icon. And now you'll get a list of all the available Chromecasts that are currently connected to your Wi-Fi network, the Wi-Fi network your phone's currently connected to. And you need to tap on the Chromecast you want to cast to. So if you only have one Chromecast in this list, you'll just tap on that one. But if you have quite a few like Timmy does, you'll need to tap on the correct one. But the names should make it fairly clear which one is which. If not, it does say the name of the Chromecast in the top corner of the TV on the Chromecast, usually. So you can work it out like that. But then once you know which one you're tapping on, you need to tap on the correct Chromecast. And now YouTube should appear on your TV, on the Chromecast. If you don't see this, you might just need to change the input of your TV to HDMI 2 or whatever your Chromecast is plugged into so that it shows what Chromecast is showing. And now all you really need to do is pick a YouTube video on your phone. So you can scroll around, tap on any video you want, Timmy's going to search for a Tech Time with Timmy video. And we'll go to Tech Time with Timmy here. And maybe we'll just watch this one, for example. So we'll tap on that video. And now the video will start to play on the Chromecast. But there is a bit of a bug that hopefully they fix this at some point soon. But there is often a bit of a bug where Chromecast will tell you it can't sign in and you haven't signed in. And the reason this is a bug is because with a traditional Chromecast like this without a remote, you actually can't sign into the YouTube app on the Chromecast. So it's actually asking you to do something that's impossible. You can't even click OK. So to me, it's found the only way to get around this is just disconnect and then cast it again. And then it should start working. So you would tap the cast icon and then choose this device so it stops casting to the TV. And then if you tap cast again and tap Studio TV, usually the second time around and hopefully several future attempts after that, it'll work perfectly fine without showing you that message. And there we go. So now we have that YouTube video playing on the TV. And you can also tap the pause button to pause it on the TV there. Timmy's actually going to tap pause so that we don't have to hear it. And you can also turn the volume up and down from either your phone or from the TV. So if we press play again, we can turn the volume down with the volume buttons on the phone and that will make it a lot quieter. So that adjusts the volume of the video on the Chromecast. But you can also turn the volume up and down from the regular volume on the TV with the TV remote. But remember, they are done separately, which means if you can't hear 
In the video, you'll need to make sure both of them are turned up at least a bit of the way, because if one of them is turned down to nothing and the other is on maximum, you still won't hear it. But you can change the volume like that. You can pause and play like this. And you can also use this slider here to skip ahead in the video if you want to. If you want to skip to a different part of it and watch that, it takes a second to load, but then it will skip and start watching that part of the video. So that's all really good. And while this video is playing, you can go out of the app, you can go into a different app, you can really do whatever you want on your phone, or you can even lock your phone and turn it off and just keep watching the video on the TV. But then you will need to come into the YouTube app once again to control the video. And you can also browse around in the YouTube app and choose maybe a different video that you might want to watch. And then it'll take a second to load once again, but it will immediately start playing that other video on the TV instead and you have all the same controls there. But that's really all there is to it. Now, when you're ready to stop casting and not be watching YouTube on the TV, all you need to do is come back into the YouTube app and tap on this cast button in the top right-hand corner here. And where it says select different device, you can then just select this device, which is your phone or your tablet, and it will stop casting the YouTube video and go back to playing it on your phone. And then you can either obviously keep watching on your phone or you can pause it on your phone and go out of that. But that's really all there is to it. That's how you can cast a YouTube video from the YouTube app on your phone or tablet onto your TV with a Chromecast. The other option would be to play the video directly on your phone and then mirror your phone's screen to the TV. And technically that would work, but it won't be the right shape. So the video usually won't take up the entire TV and it will probably play a bit slow and glitchy and you'll see a whole lot of icons on the TV and your phone, if you're watching a long video, your phone might get quite hot and the battery will run right down. So it's just generally a not, not a good idea. Generally you want to use the cast function that's built into the app wherever possible to play the video directly on the TV. But that's all there is to this video. Or if you want to use the YouTube website on your computer to cast a YouTube video from your computer to your Chromecast on your TV, to me also has a separate video about that. But that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and we might see you in another video in the future.